Hello legends, welcome to Lazarus Gaming and today we are going to be doing a different type of video playlist um, where we're going to be showcasing the different character types in a uh, in various MMOs that I play um, so we uh, the I'm big on to uh, I'm big in MMOs, I love my MMOs um, I know I don't have many of them on the channel um, but that's because I'm massively disillusioned with them at the moment. Uh, but the um, uh, one of the main things I love about MMOs is the character creation of the MMOs. Um, so what we're going to be doing is uh, playing or loading into just random MMOs that I have. And I have quite a few of them. Um, and we're going to be just creating a character that's it I'm gonna go over the different classes and races and everything there so it's gonna be like a detailed character creation playlist so you can see the different um, types of character creator that are available in each game um, the first one's gonna be Guild Wars 2 uh, just because I happen to have it open um, but I mean I can I can literally spend hours creating characters it, it, I've I've taken so long creating characters sometimes that I've logged into the game the game's been complete garbage and I am way outside of the two hour refund period that Steam has uh, so I end up with a basically a character creation simulator of a game that I don't want to play but the character creation is brilliant in it um, but you can only do characters in games so often before the shine wears off of it uh no, uh, I don't really have any criteria for this. Um, like, I haven't got anything planned out. I'm just going to sort of mention things as I see them, and um, and I'll I'll do the obvious things such as, you know, how many sliders there are, what type of sliders there are, what the variation of hair and customizations are, the pre-built bond models, uh, whether it's got body and face customization or just face customization, which some do. Um, you know, uh, and anything else I come across, like for instance, Guild Wars 2, the first thing I would come across is the fact that the creation, the whole game, not just the creation, all of this artwork that they have in Guild Wars 2 is amazing, and Guild Wars 2 is not a game I really play that much, I mean, if I go back to my characters that I have currently, you can see I've got 117, I've got level 80, but I didn't level it to 80, that was just an automatic level 80, um, because it's a revenant. And I bought the the patch, the pack that you get with it. Um, my hottest character is this dude, 26. I mean, I am a bit of a alt holic, and I've deleted a few different alts as I've been playing them. Um, but I think this is the highest I've ever got, 26. So this game's not really grabbed me that much, um, but I do like the character creator in it. I think this is amazing artwork. This is fantastic artwork in this game. I love it so much. But, and it's a shame I don't like the game more um, because I would really have liked to have um, gone into this game, I think. But I am gonna do a playlist on this where I start from zero again and I try and try out and try and see if I can get back into the game or not. Um, but that will come later on. So for now, Guild Wars 2, character creator. Here we go. So this one has the char, which are like dog animals, uh, dog humans, like dog people, I guess uh, you'd call them. Um, it has humans. It has Norns, which are, they're basically Vikings. Uh, they live in the cold Arctic regions. You got this Azura. Uh, like these weird I don't know what they are they're just odd and then you got these uh, Silvari which are elves really they're, um, they're in touch with nature and all that sort of thing um, so what I might do is I'll just go into the char creation and male and female I believe each one of these obviously male and female humans uh, Norns are definitely male and female. I don't think there's any race locking on these characters. No, so there's even a male and female of that one. 
and this one has male and female as well okay so all the characters are male and female uh, selectable um, so we'll just go all right and then you get to the class you want to play so the classes I believe every character uh, sorry every race can play every character uh, every class so you have the warrior um, yeah, fucking cool the uh, this warriors a melee obviously um, but they're not a tank these are DPS classes from what I understand of it the guardian is the um, is the tank warrior version um, so supports allies and defensive magic favors melee uh, favors melee high survivability weapons master so I don't know maybe you can use them as a um, as a tank but I believe this is the tank which is why it's got the shield Revenant this is a new class um, melee arranged invokes legendary heroes magic wielding fighter um, they're quite cool to play. The one I've been playing, I've just been mucking around with a little bit. I've really not gone played it a lot, but from what I've seen so far, it's actually quite cool. Um, and it looks the bollocks on every single um, race that you put it on. Ranger is the you know bow and arrow uh, has a pet companion. Um, Ranger can use swords as well. Uh, from memory when I was playing these they swap between bow and sword but I think you could you mainly stay on bows thief is melee um, they're, you know they're a they're rogue engineer now this one this one's a different um, class that you don't really get in many games the engineer creates gadgets and uh, things like that to help fight uh, they're supposed to be a really good class but I've never never really gotten into them I think I got one to like level 10 and I they just gave up on it so I couldn't be asked with it uh, necromancer one of my favorite classes in any game at all is the necromancer um, dark magic summons minions Elementalist is fire, ice, whatever. Um, a, a mage, ranged, ranged, ranged magic user. And the mesmer is again different type of class that you get in any other type of game. Uh, the mesmer is a ranged magic user that creates illusions and um, is a mind messer. Basically, it messes with the enemy's mind. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll just select any of these. Um, uh, we'll go with the we'll go with the warrior on this one. Um, so you can just skip past all the next section, um, but we're not going to obviously because this is a character creator video. So these are the options you have here. So you can hide the armor, show the armor, turn off light, turn on light. Um, and then you can zoom in on the head or whatever if you want to so you can see you can also oh, I thought you could use mask wheel but you can't all right so when creating this it's easier to do it without any armor on so you can see exactly what they look like so there are presets um, obviously so you get a couple of presets on this guy um, I'm thinking actually it might be easier to see the differences on a human but these ones have um, it's good that these classes have different things as well like the fur color changes the hairstyle is all you know cool hairstyles uh, he's only got nine hairstyles though on that one uh, the human has more hairstyles I think then you can choose the faces that you want, um, loads of different horns, and you can also change the length. So a slider for the horn length, which is quite cool. So if you don't want the you know horns that stick out miles from the head or whatever, you can have them really close up, and it makes them look a bit cooler. Uh, 
So this guy has got in and then you do that. The long ones actually look way cooler on this guy than they do on the other one. Than they do when they're short. Uh, so some sliders. So on the face detail, you get to do uh, your eye angles, the squint level, width. Uh, so you move the head, the eyes apart. Iris size, so you make the iris is huge or small. The eye size, you can make the eyes uh, really big. Brow angle and eye color, so you can change the color of the eyes. Um, all the all the good sliders basically that you'd want in a in a creator and then again you can change the nose or the muzzle uh, do they call them muzzle or muzzle muzzle and nose so tilt the jaw tilt the muzzle so the muzzle is the top part apparently yep top part um, tilt the jaw, yes, yeah, so the bottom one's tilt the jaw. Teeth size, you can actually change the teeth size on this one, which is cool. Um, so you can have like really sticky out teeth and or just snub teeth. Uh, the bridge of the nose, so yeah, there's a good number of sliders in this one. Um, you can change the ear length as well. I'm not sure where his ears are, oh, he's got four ears apparently. Yeah, so both those are ears for some reason. Um, and then you go into armor dice. So this is one of the greatest things about this game from what I understand. Um, you know, they call it... Um, not... Um, oh my god, I've just had a complete blank on... They, they, uh, Oh my god, I've had a complete blank. It's not Appearance Wars. It's something similar to that though. Where, because there's such a, a range of um, customization on the clothing. And it's all to do with like this die system and um, the armor system as well. So the armor actually looks different when you pick it up. Um, there's so much in the way of wardrobe. Um, and all of these are different. You can have them... You know, each one has three pieces of dies that you can do. Uh, the shoes are a bad example on this guy because he's got feet sticking out the bottom of them. Um, it makes it really interesting. Like, you, it makes you feel like you've got a an actual customized character as opposed to just some carbon copy that you would have, say, World of Warcraft, where every which i'll actually show you the, the another video for that um will be coming um where there's not really a lot in the way of customization in the way your character looks a lot of your characters all look the same um the i believe they've got the wardrobe system on there now from memory um again it's been a long time since i've logged into it uh so you can have customized armor look even though you're all wearing the same armor which is good i like that i i'm a big fan of the wardrobe systems in um in these games otherwise everybody at certain levels of the game look the same as everybody else at that same level of the game so if you're a level 10 and you're standing around say the starter cities or whatever you look the same as every other person in there because obviously level 10 do not have much armor available to them anyway uh, but the same happens at level 80 or whatever the max cap is everybody tries to get certain types of armor that they know are the best armor for their class at that level or that point of the game so everybody just wears the same things it's like uh again world of warcraft would be a good example of this where i used to be a paladin in world of warcraft and you'd be in the 40 man raids so this shows you how long ago it was that i was doing world of warcraft raiding um but every paladin looked the same uh, every one of them had the same gold armor with the mat, those shoulder pads that, you know, the shoulder blades that stick up. Um, and they all just look like, you know, clones of each other. You, you'd be in a raid and there'd be 
five paladins all looking the same, five wiz uh, mages all looking the same, you know. Um, whereas at least even just the color system alone on this, the dyeing system allows you to change everything about yourself so your colors look different. Um, and the fact that, you know, f there there is a wardrobe system in this as well that allows you to, um, you know, maintain a look you like rather than what the armor enforces on you and i'm a big fan of that i, I know that a lot of people don't like it but i think it's a great thing i think a lot of people's um complaints about it come from pvp where if you can't immediately identify what somebody is from their armor it makes it more difficult for you in pvp but I'm not a huge PvP, -er, and also I, do, I wouldn't care about that if I was in PvP. It, it's you know the challenges you're fighting; it'd be too easy otherwise. You know, a paladin is a paladin, a mage is a mage. It doesn't give you any, you know, there's no surprises that suddenly happen to you when you're fighting somebody. Um, so I don't mind it. I, I'm I'm right with it. Um, so this this now going back to the character creator. Um, so now we can get. A bit of a backstory going with your character as well so i'm not sure why like from it i believe from this point onwards nothing matters about what you choose um so spangen helm uh, i wear a spangen helm on the battlefield because of this i am recognized and given proper respect now i think that is more like a commander type um like a a, a a defensive type ability because it says i'm nearly invulnerable when i wear it and then the next one is my face is open for my well, as a gallic gallia my helm is open face so that my enemies can see my face and look into my eyes they will remember who defeated them so that seems like more of a um a melee type helmet and then there's no helmet at all which you know that seems like a berserker type thing um but yeah i mean it i i just imagine, i don't think it is like a full guardian type thing i think it's just more you know that's i don't know to be honest i don't know i don't know if that actually if anybody does know if this bit actually makes any difference let me know because i've just been choosing random stuff the whole time in here um this bit i know for a fact doesn't do anything it just changes the story slightly um like when you're starting off and things like that uh, but you know it you can choose charm to solve issues dignity or ferocity so you can um, intimidate people or they um they respect you or they like you um so dignity is always a good one um, and then this is your backstory about who you are. So you're Iron Legion, you're Blood Legion soldier. Um, you charge straight into battle, pushes the front lines in any combat. Powerful and bold, and can nobody can match your prowess on the shield. So it's very much like a blade master or swords master or weapons master or whatever. Ash Legion soldier is cunning to overcome my enemies. The Ash Legion teaches stealth and subterfuge. We end battles before they begin with infiltration, information gathering, and precision strikes. So, kind of like a covert attack group or something. And Iron Legion is war machines. The Iron Legion has ignited our industrial revolution. We've perfected metalwork cannons and, most importantly, guns. So, I don't think these matter. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure. I think the story that they give to you slightly changes depending on what you choose but it doesn't affect your character's abilities from what I understand um, now if I'm wrong on that please correct me I have no um, no massive experience with this game this game i've had for years since it came out actually and i've just never really gone into it so this bit i tend to skip over and just pick whatever when i'm in here so um and this one i would die for my warband especially and then you have to choose somebody um 
I, again, I don't know if it means anything. Um, but these are different characters. And then this is... Um, who your father is. And then you sign your name off. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, and the good thing with this is you can have surnames and um, and first names as well. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon. Respect no authority, but the clenched fist of my region. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. Now I think that's a reference to Go Wars 1. We reclaimed our whole land of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. Yet, if we waver, we can slip through our claws. So you can see what I mean about the art victory. style. At any cost. The art style in this game is amazing. The Blood Legion is my mother. The Blood Legion is my father. We char are born into battle. We live on the fields of war. And I, I will die fighting. I'm a soldier, a ground pounder, frontline infantry. I face the enemy head on. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in time of need. In the Blood Legion, we're taught the meaning of the word duty. We are relentless. Today, the soldiers of the Black Citadel assault the ghosts that plague this land. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. Let the Ash Legion strike from the shadows. Let the Iron Legion build its machines of war. I will not stop fighting until the only thing left standing on the field of battle is me. Okay, this so you story. see that's actually me. That's my customized character there. So look, I think this story section here, it adds in the things you choose during that creation and makes it personalized, which is amazing for an intro i mean that really as an immersion technique that's fantastic it's such a good idea i really the character creation on this is not the most customizable that there is in a game but it is unique i haven't really seen that sort of customization in any game before um so we'll just go back out to the character creator now <laughs> i really should have chosen better colors and stuff on this guy um yeah so that's the uh that's the that's the char character creator so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna delete this guy because i didn't choose anything i wanted to do on him so these are my other characters as well i don't know if i showed these at the beginning uh revenant a uh, ranger and a guardian so this is your norn uh this is the human i think the other two are humans as well yep um so they are um they're the characters i've been playing anyway um but what we'll do now is we'll quickly just flick through the character creator on this is a bit longer because you have to do these initial parts here so i'll just show the other two sort of unique characters these two are just human so there's nothing really different about those guys but we'll show this one the silvari we'll go female on this one so again they can choose any of the available classes um let's just actually check that all of these can do the same yeah so they they all get each of the classes and that looks ridiculous i am not a fan of these shitty little that looks like i can't even begin to say how dumb these things look they are just it's like mickey mouse You're playing with mickey mouse it's so stupid i hate them they're the worst uh so the norn Yep, 
Okay, yeah, so every every class can play, uh, every race can play every class, so the only one they wouldn't be able to play is this one, the Revenant. Yep, okay, well they can. So you can see, I mean, they look cool as. The Revenant is a cool looking class, and something I like about these classes, the, the mod character models and things are, you can't get too crazy with them either, like if I go into this one, I mean you can make a short, but you know, that's it, it doesn't let you go any shorter, and tall is just a tall human, I like that, I don't like where you can make these ridiculously mental characters that just look stupid, um, so I like the fact that it's more of a realistic looking character creator as well so you can see the humans have a lot more hair choices in this one but I mean they've got a lot of hair choices and something you'll notice with the hair choices as well is as they've added hair choices the graphics have improved whereas I think the initial hair yeah like that one I think um, wasn't as well done it doesn't look as cool as the uh, the newer hairstyles do. Um, it looks kind of like stiff and fake. Uh, so then we got the again with this one: eyes, nose, mouth, uh, jaw, and chin, and the armor dice. So you can choose what sort of armor you want on them. And when you go into the story section of their creation, um, it's the same same options um but it tells you you know because this is still a warrior that i'm on um so they all have the warriors all have the same options here but this bit here changes by race as well so you know you can be raised on the streets raised by common folk or you know you're raised among the nobility um then you're you're tragedy in your life as this one um your biggest regret i don't know why it's your biggest regret i think it's just like to give it this meaningful backstory um your sister's died and you never found the body um passed up an opportunity to perform in the circus i don't know who would have the biggest regret of performing in a circus uh and then you choose god to be blessed by when you're a human and that's it so we'll go back on this one i just want to switch into say the ranger on this one um just to show you the difference in this so here you can choose a a bear the um leopard of some sort or this weird drake but with the with the ranger they the, um now i don't know if this still holds true but they have in the game itself a lot of characters that you can actually um sorry uh companions that you can train and tame so um that's that's a cool thing about this character as well um like i say this is back when I was playing this game. I haven't played this for a while. Um, but yeah, you would actually run around and tame different animals, which is quite cool. And I can't imagine they would have taken that out of the game. So this that you start with here is... <clears throat> it, it's not really um, all that important when you can just get whatever animal you want anyway. Um, the... Charm, Dignity, and Ferocity is the same. Um, and because this is a human, that the human only has those options, the uh, same options. And then, um, again, the same ones there. And the gods. So what we'll do is we'll change to the Norn. And you can see... But they're a lot bulkier. I like the fact that it's not just a human. It's actually like a properly different human. It's a bulkier North, Northman style, like tall. Um, they have, this is the engineer. So obviously they have different options here. They have a multi-pack tool. This actually does make a difference, I think, because this is what you start with. 
Um, but I haven't played an engineer properly, so I don't know what these things do for you when you're actually in the game. I imagine you replace them fairly quickly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's all the same. And I'm rushing through this a bit now because I've just noticed the video is going on a bit. Um, the most important quality is that I have necessary strength, cunning, or intuition. See, this is the non options. I believe this is this is racially selected, uh, and then you have a recent celebration. You blacked out, got in a fight, or lost an heirloom. Uh, which is quite funny and then you can select your spirit um, guardian so you can go bear snow leopard and these um, independent strategy laughter uh, fortitude and self-reliance loyalty ferocity strength and far-seeing clarity of mind quite interesting um, and then that's the end of that one so we'll just do we'll just do this thing oh no we'll do the elves we haven't done the elves uh, so they can be everything they look kind of funny um, I don't mind the elves, they're they're okay, they just they do have a bit of a weird look to them though. Um, so you can change your skin pattern. Physique. There I don't think you really get like a fat one. I think that's the fat one. So it's sort of like still skinny. So these are very like tree oriented and plant oriented look to them. I mean, even their hair looks like leaves. So you select different options. It's like they've just come out of a swamp or something. Um, again, because I've still got engineers selected, it has that. So let's just switch to the thief. So we get different options there. Yep. So here you get anonymity. Determination, subterfuge. Uh, you get the same charm. Uh, it must be the same for all of them. And then this is the racial talent. So you're a shield of the moon. So this is actually a quest. Um, white stag, green knight, and shield of the moon. So the character creation from this point of view is really interesting it does give you a load of options here that you know you just I don't you don't see in any other creator which is brilliant and this game does have apparently some amazing storytelling in it uh, the I know for a fact that the quests are like voice acted and you see when people are talking to each other for that sort of thing they actually show you know, it sort of goes into a, um, like a video with options, like a, uh, um, that's the way I would describe it, a video with options, you, you it, it, an interactive video, uh, where you choose what you want to say and then the two people still talk to each other, it's, it's interesting, I like, I like it, um, so then you just choose your your other racial beginning, uh, like where you were born, the cycle of dawn. Uh, so you're connected with your surroundings and markedly empathetic towards all. Um, experience life firsthand and enjoy the rush of taking risks. Intelligent and drawn towards the luscious complexities of magic. And... Um, Make our own decisions and come and go as we please. Nimble of mind and body. So, uh, quite interesting. We'll switch to the Necromancer just to see the additional options here. So, this one you get Trickster Demon, the Skull, 
Um, again, I don't think this makes a huge difference. It's just changing a face. Uh, so you get Yeah, I mean these I don't know that they do anything that's the same and so here That's the racial so that's still the same and then the class is this one And that's the same because I'm still the same race and so then the elementalist here you choose um, to wear a gem so you see how the gem appears on the forehead uh, so you got a red one a green and blue and you can barely see that one so I mean, the, like I say, this game, I don't, I don't know why I've never been able to get into this game because I like so much about it. I love the character creator. I love the fact that there's so much storytelling in it. I love the, you know, you have these options that make your character itself feel like it's a different character to everything else that gets done. Um, I like the art style. I. I like the cla I like the races. I think these races are amazing. <clears throat> um, they they're so outside of you know they're close to but outside of what is standard in a in an MMO except for this she little thing here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just something about this game. I don't know what it is. So, so when I start doing the videos showing these game this game and me playing it again, trying to get into it. I'll see if I still don't like it, um, and if I do, this will be a really short playlist, but I will suffer through a good, I mean, I'm going to do at least 50 hours of gameplay to see if I can get into this game or not. I want to try and get a character at least, you know, up to level 50 or 80 or something if I play it properly, um, and see how we go, and see if I still hate it or not. But, um... Yeah, so that's the character creator for Guild Wars 2. Um, it's a good character creator. It's interesting, it's unique. The graphics and art for it are good. You know, the characters look different. They have different abilities or different backstory options uh, when you create them. The customization's not Black Desert Online, but it's certainly way better than World of Warcraft. So this is, character creation on this one is definitely, you know, the actual options for the characters themselves with regards to sliders and things like that. It's probably, probably five or six, but you throw in the additional things that it has with it and you're easily pushing an eight for character creation just on the uniqueness alone um, with, with this game. Like I, like I say, I don't recall seeing that sort of, those sort of options in any other game um so yeah uh, this it's good it's good i like it i i think the character creation is brilliant on this game um you can't spend hours doing it but you know that's fine it, it, you don't it, you know you don't have to necessarily spend hours to create a good character that looks different i mean you know with the options with the hairstyles and facial structure uh changes that you can make the eyes etc you know the body shape can all be changed as well you and the fact that you can change your armor color and that there is a wardrobe option in this let me just log in there is definitely a wardrobe option uh, i know because the armor i have on for this ranger is not what is showing when I look at him. Um, so let me just double check that and make sure. So I'll just quickly log in and show you the actual uh, wardrobe section. Okay, so, and that's my little pet there as well. So he's cool. Let's just 
take that guy out. So in here we can see, yeah, so you see, there you go, transmute armor. So you can see that I'm actually wearing a wardrobe section. That, uh, and you don't need to take stuff out either. You can just untick and it will show uh, the different things. So that's my face mask, the helm. It's easy to turn it on and off. But when you when you do click on the field as well, I forgot this, it just showed up then. You can actually, it will show you everything that you have in your inventory that you can just switch to. So for instance, I can change to that just on the fly, which is brilliant. I, there are so many good things about this game. I still cannot figure out why I'm not that keen on this game. It is crazy to me. Um, but I'll, I'll get more into that stuff when I actually start playing this game, I think. Um, and we'll see what happens anyway thanks for watching guys um if you want more information when i'm doing these let me know um in the comments below and i'll add in additional things you want to see for character creators if you want to see a certain game character creator let me know um and i will put it on the list i have in my time played and have access to almost every single mmo i can think of um and if you think there's an MMO out there that has a good creator or you want to see the creator for it, let me know. If I don't have it, I'll get it. I don't care. Uh, you know, if I've missed out on playing an MMO and not realized it, I'll, I'll definitely sign into it because I've been looking for a new home for quite some time. Um, oh, one thing I will mention is you actually only get five um, character creation slots. I've bought a sixth one there. Um, that's, and you can buy that with in-game currency as well from memory uh, I think I bought it with in-game currency which is a th one of the stronger I'll get into that when I actually start playing the game but I think it's one of the stronger points of the game is that you can actually buy stuff with in-game currency you don't need to use real money to buy it um, I might be wrong about that though so don't hold me to it um, as you can see I'm level 23 with this guy and I've only done 4% of the map so and the max level is 80 I believe so you see there's quite a lot I haven't done. This I mean there's ninety six percent of the game I haven't even played. Um so yeah, I mean I probably haven't given this game as much of a chance as I should have done. And which is why I've decided to do a I'm going back into gameplay series for this. Uh, okay, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like, want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Um, there's a little bell thing that will notify you when I upload new videos as well. Click on that if you like to. Um, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.